Hi there, it's Danny Ackerman of the Danny app here to give you your tip of the week. So we deal with returns and refunds and unhappy customers as part of business. We just have to. Something you can do to set yourself apart from other sellers is give a more personal touch when you have a customer that has a problem. A good way to do that, give them a call. Pick up the phone. Most sellers are not doing that and I tell you it can go miles and miles in turning an unhappy customer into somebody who is satisfied with the result of their unhappiness and how you dealt with it as well as turning around and still giving you that positive feedback and five stars um, if for nothing else for your communication so the way you find your buyers contact information on eBay is a little tricky so I wanted to give that as the tip of the day so if you go into my eBay and you're selling you'll need to find the transaction that they were unhappy with. So you go to your selling manager, hopefully you have selling manager, you go to your sold, and let's just suppose this was the customer who was not happy. And this is how you would just send them a message or an email, which is, we want to go a little bit further. So I have found the best way to do this is come down here to your site map. So a lot of times I just come over here to the handy dandy A to Z help topics. I want to contact buyer or actually let's put in buyer's contact information. and you come up with this little page here so I want to contact buyer after the sale and request another members contact information so you put in the user ID of the member here you put in the item number of the item that you are contacting them about so I actually have something that I need to do this with. So I'm going to go ahead, put that information in. That's it. Your request has been processed and they send you an email that has your information sent to the buyer or seller because you can do this if you have bought something that has a problem as well or as the seller trying to contact your buyer and resolve a situation. So there you go. That's as easy as it is. Now you'll get an email into your uh, email inbox that will give you not only your either buyer or sellers, depending on which end of the transaction you're on, will give you their contact information, hopefully with a valid phone number. And as well, they're going to get your contact information. And so they know that you're trying to get in touch with them. So even if you don't actually connect on the phone, you you do get the message across to them that hey I'm reaching out so this is a very good thing and can resolve a lot of disputes make for a happy repeat customer which is what we all want and I'm a big believer that customer service good customer service is not proven when everything goes right but when something goes wrong and how you handle it so that's it that's my tip of the week guys have a good one. Until next time, come visit the dannyapp.com for all your tips and tricks on increasing your sales on eBay.